What's going on guys? Tech video today, and we're gonna talk about instruction pipelining. And this is a follow-up video to, I think my instruction level parallelism video. So I'm just gonna link to it right here or something, and just check that out real quick if you haven't seen it yet. Just to recap, ILP is a hardware and software collaborative technique to increase the efficiency of a processor. If there's really limited hardware and really limited hardware capabilities, there's only so much a CPU can do, despite having really, really high-end software. Also, if you have a super beefed up, like a really strong CPU, but your software sucks, then there's only so much the CPU can do, right? So that's why it's a collaborative effort. So there are many, many, many techniques to improve the instruction level parallelism or ILP in a processor. And this concept of pipelining is just one out of many techniques for this. And that's what we're gonna go over in this video. Instruction level pipelining is actually a really simple concept you see in everyday life. And this video, I'm just gonna use it to go over some intuition concepts and I'll probably make a follow-up video on a little more of the details and exactly how it works inside a processor. But this video, we're gonna talk more high level. So we're gonna introduce instruction pipelining with a real world example, and it's gonna be doing laundry. Okay, this is the example I was introduced with in school, and I think it's a pretty intuitive way to think about how pipelining works. So how exactly do we do laundry? Well, let's just break down an instruction. Perhaps we have a do laundry instruction, and it consists of two major steps. The first step is wash your clothes. The second step is dry your clothes. We need two pieces of hardware to do this. Let's say we have a washer to wash the clothes and we have a dryer to dry the clothes. Pretty simple, right? And let's say each one takes 30 minutes. So first question is we have one batch of clothes. How long is it gonna take to do our do laundry function? Do you have a guess? If we have just one batch of clothes, we're gonna wash them in the washer first, right? 30 minutes. Then we're gonna dry them in the dryer after that's done another 30 minutes and it's gonna take one hour to finish. Okay, now let's move on and try washing two batches of clothes and see what's the most intuitive and efficient way to do this. Let's just try to do this like as if we were doing it in real life, what we would do. We'll take our first batch of clothes and just start washing it. That takes 30 minutes and when that's done, we're gonna put it in the dryer, but then we can start taking our second batch of clothes and start washing that as well, right? While the first one is drying. After that's done, the first set is done, and all we have to do is take our second set of clothes and dry them, and we'll be done. So this whole process actually takes 90 minutes. Let's just rewind that real quick and think about the most stupid way to wash two batches of clothes. Well, the stupid way would be take the first batch, wash it, dry it. Then take the second batch, wash it, dry it. And that whole process would take 120 minutes or two hours. Right. The reason why we could do it in 90 minutes is because of pipelining. While we were drying the first set of clothes, we already started washing the second set of clothes. This is essentially what pipelining is. The concept of pipelining happens all the time throughout life. And I think once you realize kind of how it's broken down in a series of steps, you, you start seeing it everywhere. Like, in kitchens, in assembly lines, how you do your laundry. It's just all over the place. So the number one takeaway out of pipelining is that we need two things to happen. We need to take a big process called do laundry and we need to break it up into steps. The first step is washing our clothes. The second step is drying our clothes. The next requirement for pipelining to even work is that we need the appropriate hardware to do both of these steps at the same time. That's why we need a washer and a dryer. Let's suppose we had a different set of hardware, okay? Have you guys ever heard of those washing machines which are like a washer and a dryer combined in the same machine? I used to have one of those at my apartment. It's like just one box, but it does washing and drying. If I have a washer and dryer, a combined washer and dryer, that takes one hour to do both the washing and drying, do you think it's even possible for me to finish two batches of clothes in 90 minutes? It's, it's not possible, right? I have to do the first batch first, wait for it to complete 60 minutes, then do the second batch 
another 60 minutes and the whole thing would take two hours. The moment I got a separate washer and a separate dryer so I can wash and dry at the same time, it actually enables the pipelining. And that's how we got the thing done in 90 minutes. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna stop the video here because I don't wanna get into too many of the nitty gritty details of how pipelining works in a real CPU, but I just wanted to go over some of the intuition about how this concept applies in real life. I'm not gonna go into it too much now, but inside a real processor, every single instruction, like add, is broken up into a lot of different steps and there's special hardware to do each step. I'll go into those details in another video when we have more time, but I just want this concept of pipelining to sink in with everybody and just think about it. Just think about doing laundry. Once you start understanding this concept, you start just seeing it all over the place and I find myself sometimes complaining about it, and I think you'll start complaining about it too. Next time you're at a cafeteria or a deli ordering a sandwich, you're gonna be like, crap, I wish this whole thing was pipelined a little better. This is so terrible. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's just an intuition video and talking about this concept. Pipelining is just an everyday concept in everyday life, but it's also one of the most fundamental concepts in computer hardware, so it's really good to understand it. But it's actually, in the end, it's really simple. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please, please press like if you liked it. Please subscribe if you wanna see more cool videos every week and have a great day. All right, take it easy.